Body okay. language mirroring and verbal imitation. Lack of eye tracking and awkward movement. Mm. Unusual. <laughs> Welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're not playing FNAF. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! No, uh, don't get me wrong. I've had a really good time playing the game. It was really enjoyable. Even the like four or five hour marathon that I did, like digging through everything to try and find all the like little doodads here and there, all the security tapes, whatever, uh, was, was fun. I, I've enjoyed tearing apart that lore. There's a lot in there to tear apart, and not all of it makes a lot of cohesive sense. It feels like they just threw a bunch of stuff at the wall, but it's been fun, right? It was an enjoyable game, but also it's been dominating so much of my thinking and so much of this channel for, for weeks now, right? Because it was such a massive game, unlike like a sister location or whatever, which, you know, you get like five uploads out of or whatever. This was like, nope, this is a massive beast. There's a lot to explore. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of secrets. Uh, it is longer than a typical FNAF game, so just a lot of stuff that's been taken over there. Uh, so to get back and reset in this like post-FNAF world is pretty exciting. To play the things that either I had on the to-do list back before FNAF launched, or now that's new here in 2022. So while I am sad to see Five Nights at Freddy's go, and certainly if there's DLC, we'll be definitely playing that, but uh, in the meantime now, that's all moved over to Game Theory. I am spending more than enough time to like piece through all this stuff and try to cobble together what is really going on in that story. Um, but, well, that's kind of over there. We are back to GT Live as normal with our usual Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, hopefully uploads provided I'm able to get everything done. And uh, we're doing all this cool stuff. We're going back to more analog horror. We're going back to more Iceberg Explained. We're going back to more live theorizing. Uh, all of that awesome stuff. So I'm excited to start 2022 with you guys. I hope you are excited to be here with me um, in a post-security uh, breach world. So... Uh, today, we're playing a game that's been on my list to play for a while. Um, I had very briefly caught a glimpse of it and passed it on to Matt. Matt looked into it and he's like, oh, it's, it's Mandela Catalog, or it's basically like Mandela Catalog, so, uh, which is really exciting. So, for those of you who don't know or don't remember, uh, Mandela Catalog is an analog horror series that we've actually covered on Film Theory. We did some live theorizing here on GT Live uh, first, and then we made it, in, it into a full-on uh, film theory, which I think I left as a cliffhanger. I should probably get to part two of that. In fact, I think part two's written. Hmm, I should check that and make sure that it goes through. Uh, that's not me being disorganized. That was me having to reprioritize other scripts because, like, Spider-Man came out and all these, like, end-of-year, like, Christmas things and stuff that we were trying to get out. Uh, and so Mandela was like, got put on the back burner, and now time to get that one back up too and finish that duology. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't remember, uh, Mandela Catalog is all about this like secret alien invasion. It seems to be a secret alien invasion that's happening with people around us. Uh, there are these aliens that are able to like take on our identities and, and act as kind of imposters. Uh, oh, don't be sus, Gregory. Don't be sus, Gregory. Uh, imposters. <laughs> Um, who are kind of like mimicking our behavior in the real world, mimicking our loved ones. They're very deadly. Uh, and when you call the authorities, they can't do anything to, to stop them. Uh, so it's it's got this creepy old school vibe to it, like found footage stuff. There's a lot of really good, just like get in you sort of stuff. Uh, so as I understand it, this is a game of it or a game that was inspired by it. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going in blind. I just saw that this was a thing that seemed oddly related. And Matt looked into it and he liked it. I'm also alone on the couch today because Matt's off for a couple days. So you got me and whatever creepy stuff we have coming up. So without any further ado, let's just hop into this. Um, I don't know. I don't know how long it is or anything like that, but we'll just see how this goes. So um, here we go. Maple County Interactive Training Tape. That's that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> out of here. What if I just inject it? Just nope. Great. Don't, don't really know what I was expecting to happen. I don't know. Maybe like a jump scare or something. Just, nope. 
Just a hard out. Thanks, but no thanks. I do not want to be instructed. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> oh, no. All right, here we go. Maple County. Uh, and also, it's worth uh, calling out here, if I remember right, because uh, I looked into this. Maple County is one of the counties that get listed off in Mandela Catalog when they're like, the 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 imposters, I forget what they're called, but the the, the alt, alters? No. Shoot, I can't, why can't I? Um, I'm drawing a blank on the name right now. I'd have to refresh myself. But basically they call out like, these are the, oh, kids. It specifically call it out, like kids have been disappearing in all of these counties and Maple County is one that is mentioned. So it is in the connected universe at least. So let's play. Oh, here we go. Attention, Maple County Police Department. Please okay. take a seat. Your training video will begin momentarily. Done. Took my this seat. Interactive training video. Please remain seated. Okay, I will not stand. Table in front of you and give inputs when Thanks, required. Sir. Thank you. I will not stand. If you see this me stand, yell at me. Training video is brought to you by Maple County's Police Department. In this instructional video, you will learn about the current threats sweeping our state. Okay. And how to protect yourself and citizens from this threat. We know very little about this threat, but as we learn and grow our knowledge, this threat will be removed in the following months. The following the months, media great. Has not revealed this threat. Really in a hurry. Everything you see in this training video is classified. Sharing this information with friends or loved ones is not permitted. Okay, so our secret. Exercise one: okay. assessing the threat. On screen, okay, let's assess some two threat. images will appear. On instinct alone, please choose the image that is the most unsettling. <laughs> you will be scored at the end of this video. Okay. Instinct alone. Begin exercise. All right. So we got... Which is more unsettling. Well, hmm. Uh, let's see. We've got a clean cut white dude over here and a very tired looking lady over here. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, clearly the, the more unsettling image here is this guy who's uh, obviously involved in some like white collar crimes. Probably embezzling funds. Probably manipulating the stock market as we speak. Probably has invested way too much of his portfolio in Bitcoin. Uh, supporting NFTs, etc. <laughs> Whereas this this girl, she just looks tired. She's just tired like me. Honestly. She's just got bags under her eyes. Like, that's how I feel. This is hashtag relatable. That is unsettling. So I'm going to click it. Okay. How'd I do? Did I pass? He's going to smack me down. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we've got relatively normal looking dude. Also, bags around the eyes. Looking a little bit tired there, bud. But great smile. Uh, here, <laughs> we've got like Kendall Jenner lips. <laughs> Was that... Do you guys... Do you remember this? Am I the only one who remembers this? Wasn't it like a couple of years ago where there was like the whole like, oh, you got to have like the Kylie or Kendall Jenner lips and, and girls were like putting their mouths in glasses and then like having to like suck out all the air, like create a vacuum in there to like make their lips bigger and more voluptuous or whatever. Uh, and, or like you would rub it with spicy like sriracha sauce or whatever to make your lips, pu lips puff up. <laughs> anyway, so this guy's got Kendall Jenner lips. Uh, some, some tells me that this guy might be the one who I'm uh, concerned about here. Okay. Fairly normal. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Oh no. 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 Ooh, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't even joke about this one. It's this one. <laughs> okay, gotta watch my back. I'm in a fully lit room, but the fact that she disappeared from the picture is terrifying to me. Oh, jeez. No, what is this? All right. Every time I see my old house, I feel sick to my stomach. Hashtag relatable there, too. Uh, I can't get his eyes out of my head. Can't either. So dreamy. What a dreamboat. Beautiful. Beautiful crystal blue eyes. He was weightless, almost floating. Dashed from the room. Oh, dashed from room to room like a puppet on strings. Puppet! It's the FNAF universe. I think there's somebody in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Steph and Ollie. They're, uh, they're up making some lunch for themselves right now. <laughs> I get you, man. I feel it. I feel it. Congratulations. Woo! You passed the first exercise. 
Nailed it! We will learn more on how to identify a threat. See, watch out for white color crime. These characteristics. Lack of emotion and uncanny facial features. Mm, okay. Body language mirroring and verbal imitation. Lack of eye tracking and awkward movement. Mm. Unusually long <laughs> Unusually long limb. Which again is going back to Mandela catalog where they have the really long limb. So is this is this an official extension? Is this just inspired by? I, I don't know. I think somebody's in my bedroom. Mm, not great. Not great. Wait, can we play this? Is this... <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that is so cool. Oh, this is crazy. Wow. These graphics are simultaneously really good and really bad. Um, man, it doesn't even look like video game graphic. Like, it looks hyper-realistic. And I'm assuming that's just because of all the, like, filters and stuff that have been laid on top of this thing. But, man, this looks so cool. And the movement is actually really good, too. Um, clearly, now, uh, from a lore standpoint, as we all know, uh, we're clearly playing as a, video, uh, as a robot. Uh, we're an animatronic, as evidenced by our visual field being distorted by VHS lines. Uh, we have this VHS line going through, which is just like Gregory. Gregory's being sus. Have you heard about Among Us, Gregory? Uh, well, have you... My friend from Maple County, you heard about Among Us because right now your vision is sus. Because uh, you have CRT lines going through the screen right now. So these tracking lines are making me think that you are a robot yourself. Oh! Nope! Done. Nope. Checking my back again. Hey, honey. Gross. I hate it. I hate it so much. Come to my room. Oh, this is where Mom is dead. Oh, jeez. That's a bummer. It is tricking you. The police won't help you. Okay, so this is this is kind of how Mandela Catalog works. Play dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't have to tell me twice. Done. Okay, I'm not going to move. What's going on? Am I moving? What is this? What do you do, you idiot? Oh! Gross. Nope. Nope. Why were you moving, you idiot? Uh, hi. So, I said play dead. I nothing, but there's this really fucking freaky dude that's been chasing the house, I think. Mature stream. Uh, uh, Apologies. Well, uh, can you describe him to me, at least? Um, I mean, I mean it's, it's like pitch black outside, but um, mm. I, I think he might be on my drugs or something. He's moving like really weird. Well, uh... Cool. Is he doing anything illegal or... I uh, know, fuck you guys. Fucking nothing happens out here. Just fucking send someone. Jesus fucking... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> yeah, man, what? This, this shit never happened. Uh, I, what's he doing? Uh, no. <laughs> what is he doing that's illegal? I, um... Uh, Jesus. I, he just... He just kind of... I mean, he definitely knows I'm looking at him. And he knows I'm... He's looking... I'm looking at him. And he's out. looking at me. I, I don't know. Something's just... Off. Oh. Something's off about this guy. Arrest this guy. Uh, Something's off. Road. Yeah, just, just try to hurry. Uh, my mom's passed out in the other room. I'm not trying to like wake her up and freak her out of the fucking day she had. You know, mom's dead. We'll see you soon. Wait, is that it? Oh no, I was just getting into this. It's inspired by Mandela. Okay, so it is inspired by. Oh, okay. Well then, uh, that was uh, much shorter than I expected. <laughs> um, it's good. Uh, that was exciting. That was very exciting. Uh, I was getting into it. <laughs> wow, that it's it's weird to remember that. Oh, these can be short now that I don't have to play through like hour long chunks of a security breach or multi hour long chunks of security breach tonight. Oh yeah, we, these can be like 15, 20, 30 minutes. Not, you know, multiple hours. So, hey, welcome to Shorter GT Lives. Uh, cool. I like this. This was this was super creepy. Um, I will say, if someone tells you to play dead, you don't move, dude. What, what you do? What are you doing? Why are you getting up? Why are you getting up? What incentive? No, you play possum. You lay over, go like a little drooling. Uh, hold your breath. 
Uh, when I was in West Side Story, I was Bernardo, and I had to lay dead on... Sorry, spoiler alert. Bernardo dies midway through, or at the end of Act 1. Um, I had to lie dead on stage for a really long time. And it's hard. You have to, like, limit your breathing. I kept doing, like, shallow breathing, so no one could actually tell that my, like, chest was rising and falling. But that was after having, like, all, done all this dancing, so it was actually really exhausting. But, yeah, you do, like, little shallow breaths to make sure that no one actually sees your chest heaving. Dude! The alien attack! <laughs> Idiots. Okay, so this is inspired by Mandela Catalog, which is cool. Um, man, check your mothers. That's what I gotta say. Go call up your mom right now to ensure that she hasn't been taken over by some like alien doppelganger. Tis the season to ensure your mother's safety in the face of alien doppelgangers invading your home. Fa la 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 la. Here, uh, I'm curious. Is there an alternate route through this? I'm, ju I'm just curious. Like, could I choose the wrong stuff? Because it was so short. I can Department. go through, like... Please take a seat. Your training video will begin momentarily. All right, let's begin. For this interactive training video, please remain seated. Okay. Pick up the remote on the table in front of you and give inputs when required. So this is directly Thank pulled you. from Mandela Catalog where the police can't really help you. They're not very this effective. This interactive training video is brought to you by Maple County's Police Department. Brought to you by Maple County video, Police Department. You will learn about the current threats to our spot. state. And how to protect yourself and citizens from this threat. We know very little about this threat, but as we learn so, through our knowledge, this threat will be removed in the following months. The media has okay. now revealed this threat, and everything you see in this training video is classified. Sharing this information with friends or loved ones is not permitted. So, can I just say... Exercise 1. Okay, assessing the threat. On screen, two images will appear. On instinct alone, please choose the image that is the most unsettling. Okay. You will be scored at the end of this video. So, also, can I just say, the guy calling in being like, hey, hey, can you, uh, can you help me, police? There's this guy who's looking at me. Like, in all situations, I understand, like, the police can't help you against this alien threat. Here, though, what's the guy, like, he's like, hey, can you go arrest these guys? And they're like, yeah, what's, what's he doing? And he's like, oh, he's looking at me. What do you expect to happen? Oh, he looks weird. What do you expect to happen, caller? You gotta have some level of evidence. Some complaint to level at this person. He's like, like when the police aren't immediately like, yep, we're on our way. He's like, oh, screw you guys. You're all the worst. It's like, no. Give them something to go off of. Like a disturbance or something, man. Flying off the handle. Here. All right. Let's answer all the wrong answers. Because I'm assuming these are all the wrong answers, right? Okay, so her, and then spooky image. Oh, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. That's the worst. It's the worst. Okay, and you cannot pick her. Okay, so that confirms that there's really only one route through this. Oh, every time. Ah, oh, that's so terrifying. Oh, I hate it. Okay. Okay, and then we go through all this other stuff, so we don't need to revisit all that other stuff. So, uh... Yeah, there it is. Very short and to the point, but very scary. Um, this is cool. I am glad to be back in analog horror stuff. This was really well done. I, I can't wait to see it longer or see more out of this world, right? Um, really effective. And, and I think what this is a really good example of, especially when you compare it to, like, all the Security Breach stuff that we were playing, um, for me, Security Breach wasn't scary and no amount of, like, adjusting, like, levels and stuff would make it scary because you saw the threat. Right? And it was this very, like, hyper-realistic, like, not hyper-realistic, this, like, hyper-over-the-top scenario. The threats were visible. You felt in power because you were able to stealth around things. And you kind of saw the limits of, like, oh, if a security bop jump scares me, like, there's really relatively no threat. Whereas this, I think it really shows, like, you don't need a whole lot to be, like, viscerally scary. Like, I, when I click that woman in the shadows and she disappears, like I viscerally felt the need to check behind me, even though I'm in the middle of a well-lit room in like the middle of the day because it was that unsettling. And it, it puts you into these like everyday scenarios, but you just need like that one thing that's a little, a little off or that one thing that makes you feel a bit unsafe. And subtle stuff like that, that like rawness and that realness, that's what really gets to you. And I think that's what makes analog horror so darn cool 
is the fact that like it 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 lives in that world of that relatable everyday world of like handheld camcorders and and homemade videos and news broadcasts and things that we can relate to that aren't so over the top and fantastical that's like oh this is my everyday life but there's like the weird doppelganger there's that weird shadow on the wall there's whatever uh, and that's what really gets you to be scared, which is, it's cool. So, uh, Mandela Catalog, or Maple County, cool extension of what is a very cool story, the Mandela Catalog, uh, the story of the imposters taking over. So, there you have it, friends. Uh, thanks for reminding me, everyone, and thanks, GT Live, I guess. Thanks, channel that I created, for reminding me that I need to get back on that Mandela Catalog theory and, you know, polish it up so that way it can go out. I think that one... We'll try to get it out before the end of the month or whatever. But um, there you have it. It's good to be back. It's good to be shorter episode. What was this? 20 minutes. Wow. Shorter episodes, I guess. So uh, there you go. In a post-FNAF world, it's good to see you guys. Uh, we got more stuff coming up, like meme reviews and things like that. So stick around. I can't wait to celebrate the new year with you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya! Hmm.